all players. Mm -hmm. But first, are we still looking at that big snow this weekend, Marina? You've been talking about it the entire week, and it sounds like it's coming. Yes, it is coming. It's a nice quiet morning. We need a nice quiet morning because as soon as we head on into the overnight tonight, that's when it's going to start. Here to we get go. Huh? Here <laughs> we go. So it's nice to take that breather because you're going to need it today. We've got a whole messy situation that's going to roll in. Nowhere near as bad what the Northeast is dealing with but still bad enough that you're going to want to make sure that you're careful as we head on here into the next 24 hours. I know it's a lot of information, so I'm going to try to break it down as we head on into the next couple of hours here so that you know where you are and what area is going to be affected. But like I said, it's going to all depend on how it all starts tonight. What we could be looking at is really ice, you know, even a half an inch of ice, and then all of those inches of snow on top of that. And that's what's going to be hard on the metro is just because the roads are going to be so slick. And I was just going to say, it's the Monday morning commute that has a lot of people concerned, and that looks mm -hmm. like it's going to be pretty messy, huh? That's right, because a lot of people will probably stay home tomorrow mm -hmm. if they don't have to be out right. on the roads. And then you've got to get out on Monday morning to get to work, and that's when we're going to see that ice and that snow on top of the ice. So we'll okay. have to really be careful. 36 right. hours. All right, thanks so much, Marina. And as Marina said, it is our turn tonight, but right now the east. All right, you have a lot of, lot of colors too, yeah. but uh, here we go. Yes. A different kind. Yes, a northeast and our theme song here over the next couple of days, staying alive. That's for sure. Just getting out there. If uh, we don't have to be out there tomorrow, it's probably best because we're just going to see a whole messy situation starting in the overnight tonight. So I'll break it down here real quick for you as we head on into the rest of the day. We're basically looking at uh, over overnight, probably midnight start time for that mix, and then as we move on into the rest of our Sunday and Monday. So winter storm watch is here in the white, and that includes the metro region and the bulk of our Wisconsin counties, and that's for four to eight inches, folks. And now how we're going to get closer to that eight is if we see some snowfall in the overnight and tomorrow morning before it changes over into that wintry mix of some ice, freezing rain and rain and snow. Then we're going to get a second bout of snowfall Sunday night into our Monday morning. And so no matter uh, what, we do. We're going to be looking at snow, ice, and then snow again, making for very slick roads even here in the metro. Winter storm warning really starts uh, from Isanti County heading all the way out west to Lacaparo County, and that's for that warning. And so you folks could be looking at, of course, a little more snowfall, upwards of 10 inches or more. Then we add the northwesterly winds that are going to be kicking at about uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour as we head on into Sunday night. And then we've got that blizzard watch for blowing and drifting snow right up that Dakota border as we head on into uh, the rest of the system later on Sunday. So accumulations of 10 inches or more will stay to the north and the west of the metro. And then we'll be looking at the least impacted area, maybe one to two inches of snow because it'll be mostly a rain event as we head on down towards the southeast. So putting this in motion, we've got a little tiny bit of precipitation out there right now. Not a lot, just a little bit of a light mix like snow up to our north and will be mostly cloudy for the day today. 23 quiet southeasterly winds at about 15 to 20 throughout the day today. Of course, that's going to add to a wind chill temperature. With it being 23 in the metro, everyone pretty much is in the low to mid 20s. You add those winds, that'll be pretty gusty today, and then that does create that wind chill temperature. Nine right now in the metro, 17 in Marshall, 12 in Alec, 14 in Brainerd. So as we head on into today, not too much going on. But then in the overnight is when we're going to start to see that chance for a mix, and then that mix all day, and then snow Sunday night into Monday. So I know it sounds like a lot to try to take in, but these fine lines are going to be so based on the track of this system as it moves on in that even, you know, 20 miles could make all the difference in the world. And so that's why we just really need to watch as it tracks in Tom and Karen. And of course, we're going to be here all weekend and all through Monday telling you where this storm does end up. But that's how it's shaking down right now. All right. Stay home. Yes. Just stay home if you can. Yeah. Maybe I'll stay home on well, Monday. Oh, Maria. wait, it's my day off. Yeah. An update on what we're looking at here. Yeah, that's right. We, we are actually starting out with a, just a tad of a little bit of a light mix, light flurry just up to the north of the metro around uh, as we head on into Duluth. So not too much happening right now. We really need this quiet day because as we head on into the overnight tonight, that's when we're really going to start to see things building. Our system actually started off the coast of California and as it's slowly built in, we're going to see it move into the Four Corners region and then flip on up. We've got two waves that we're looking at the first in the overnight tonight with that snow icy mix and then moving on into a whole lot of precipitation tomorrow when it comes to rain, freezing rain, sleet and 
snow and then moving back into snow Sunday night into our Monday. But that's why we really needed this quiet day today and get out there. Enjoy it because tomorrow if you don't have to be on the roads, then it's best not to be because it could be very, very slick. But 23 degrees right now in the metro. We do have a wind chill. Winds will be coming out of the southeast all day today and really for a good part of tomorrow until we see that frontal system actually pass and swap us out for northwesterly winds. But with that being said, at 10 to 20 miles per hour, we're chopping our, our temperatures about in half. It feels like about nine right now in the metro. And clouds will thicken as we head on into the day today. We've got that evening mix potential, but it's really looking like midnight and beyond. So if you're going to be out late tonight, that's going to be your best chance to pick up on that wintry mix. Otherwise, we're looking at uh, 35 for our high. Very mild tonight. Temperatures are going to stay really pretty much where they are throughout the entire night tonight into early tomorrow morning before they start to move on up to the low to mid 30s again. And that temperature profile as well as when that precipitation does move in will depend on how much really snow is going to hit, especially that metro region and that central west central portion of our viewing area, which includes the metro. And that's because the system is going to have a fine line between that heavy snow and the folks that get that wintry mix. So that's what we're going to be watching out for as we head on into our Sunday, because we're going to see a chance to see a little bit of everything that freezing rain that ice and then we can see a half an inch of ice potential with on top of that then that four to eight inches of snow so we have winter storm watches warnings and even a blizzard watch for our far far western counties there near the south dakota border so breaking down the seven day for you today is the day to get that breather in this will last with us all the way through monday afternoon We'll clear things out and get a pretty decent couple of days in there of quiet weather before we get a chance for some light snow. Yes, on our Valentine's Day and a cold front moving in, then that will bring our temperatures way down again for the end of next week and weekend. I'll break down those watches and warnings for meteorologist Marina Jerica. It is a nice quiet start to this Saturday, but it is not going to stay that way impacted. And as we head on into the day today, we're looking at a high of about 35 degrees with mostly cloudy skies, but watch out. It's going to get slick and we'll keep you posted as we head on into the rest of the weekend. The Fox 9 Morning News continues right now, so stay with us. Different things, uh, blizzard warnings, Armageddon, Snowmageddon, Snowpocalypse, you name it, we got it. I, I, I'm with you, Karen, because John loves this book called Who's You and There's an Owl on the See? Cover. See? Yeah. Oh, I oh. gotcha. All right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> folks, our kids are going to be happy because they might be getting some good sledding snow as we move on into our Monday. So they're happy, but uh, it's going to be a holy mess as we move on into our Sunday and Monday. If you're going to be heading out on the roads because we're going to get a mix of everything. I wish that the system was just all snow because that would make it a whole lot easier, but it's not going to be. And the metro is right at that line where we're going to see a mix and then turning over into the snow. So here is a look at what we are going to be dealing with as we move on into at least the next couple of hours. You can see we are are mostly cloudy, so we're going to stay pretty cloudy, maybe with a few peaks of sunshine and then get a little bit of that wintry mix light snow to the north of the metro up to Duluth very quickly here for the next hour. But the rest of us are going to be mainly the bulk of our viewing area going to be dry and taking a look right now at how it looks outside. We can see 23 degrees with a southeasterly wind at about uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the day is creating a pretty substantial wind chill in the single digits. Everyone is in the 20s. It's very mild and we're pretty much going to stay there. And that's the issue with the temperature frame as to if you're going to be above freezing or below as of the type of precipitation you see. But feeling like, of course, teens and single digits as you're out there right now. So as we take a look at our weekend, what's going to happen here is we're going to start in the overnight tonight, a little bit of a wintry mix. And then depending on where that line is situated, the metro and our northern counties and western counties could pick up on a couple of inches of snow by tomorrow morning before we turn back into that wintry mix. So depending on how much snow we get in the morning tomorrow, we'll really see how much our totals will be by the end of the storm system. But in the metro here, we're looking at by Monday midday anywhere from four to eight inches. And again, it depends on how much we pick up tomorrow morning. Then all day tomorrow, we're looking at the chance for freezing rain, rain, snow, ice. And then on top of that, by Sunday evening, probably looking at about a seven, eight o'clock start time, we're going to add that snow into our Monday morning commute. So the problem is, is that ice and then snow on top of that. So we could be looking at snow, ice, snow as we move on into Monday morning, which of course will be very, very slick. Anywhere north and west of us, though, 
We're looking at it mainly being a snow event and then a rain event just for our far southeastern counties from Rochester down into La Crosse. I will break down those watches and warnings. It is. It's going to keep us awfully busy as we move on into the next 48 hours. The good news is, is we're quiet today. As we head on into the overnight tonight, though, things are going to change. So you want to make sure you keep that in mind. In the white, we've got that winter storm watch, and that includes the metro. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get into a winter storm warning as we move on into the overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. But right now, it is still just a watch. It'll start after midnight tonight with the potential of a wintry mix. So this area could see anywhere from four to eight inches of snow. I know that's a large amount, a uh, big wide gap there. But the reason for that is if we pick up on a couple of inches in the overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. That'll get us closer to the eight inch mark in the metro. If we stay as a wintry mix of some ice, freezing rain and sleet, then we'll probably be more on the four inch side of that. So we'll just have to wait and see as the system gets a little closer in the overnight tonight. Then we've got a winter storm warning and you can see that's from Isanti, Meeker County heading on over to the Dakota border. And that is for, of course, that area plus up to the north, that freezing rain, sleet. And then on top of that, we're going to see higher snow accumulations up to 10 inches of snowfall. Then we have a blizzard watch as winds really start to pick up. Probably gusts of up to 30, 40 miles per hour for the western counties. And we'll even be seeing gusts of up to 25, 30 miles per hour here in the metro. So blowing, drifting snow, big problem Sunday night into Monday morning. And then, of course, the heaviest accumulations, maybe even up to 15 inches, will be well to our northwest with the least impact, uh, maybe one to two inches as we move on into Rochester, heading over into La Crosse. So it is going to be a messy Sunday and Monday, no matter how you look at it. So you're going to want to make sure that you keep that at the back of your mind wherever you're going to be going. If you don't have to go anywhere on Sunday, just stay home. Monday morning is going to be a big enough headache as it is. So 23 currently in the metro with the wind chill about 9. We will see breezy conditions out of the southeast anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And as that does occur, we will be looking at, of course, blowing drifting snow, which will be tough enough with the snow and that ice compact on Monday for your commute. So that will take us into Monday afternoon. Then we'll start to clear, have a pretty decent Tuesday and Wednesday before we get a chance for some light snow strolling in for Thursday and Friday. So I'm going to break down more of the storm for you as well as well, good morning. We are looking at pretty much a quiet start to the day today, but boy, is that going to change as we head on into gear as we head on into the overnight tonight. I'll break down that graphic a little bit better as we head on into the next nine minutes so that we can see what is moving on in and when. Fox 9 Morning News continues. Stay with us. I'm meteorologist Marina Jerica. We're starting out really quiet. We're not going to end out that way in the overnight tonight and tomorrow. That's when our storm system is going to roll on in. So let's break down where our watches and warnings sit right now. We are looking at a winter storm watch in effect for be coming on in if we don't pick up on a couple of inches in the overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. I think we'll get some light snow before it changes over into that mix. If we do get that light snow, we'll be closer to that eight inch mark. Four inch will be if we don't pick up on anything in the overnight tonight. and It stays just like a mix. Then we've got that winter storm warning that starts from Isanti, Meeker County, Sherburne County, heading all the way over to the Dakota border. That's for a little more ice and then a little more snow on top of that. We've also got a blizzard watch right there along the Dakota border for our western counties. And then, of course, the massive amount of accumulation anywhere from 10 to 15 inches is what we could be looking at way up towards the north and the northwest. And that's really in a line from Marshall heading to Alec, moving on up towards Brainerd, and then all the way over to Bemidji and Duluth. So uh, we'll really have to watch as that system does move in. The least impact will be down towards our southeast where it'll be a lot of rain, maybe a little bit of a mix, and then one to two inches of snowfall by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning is going to be tough uh, as we head on into a, a slick, icy drive into the day. And then Monday morning when we've got the ice and the snow on top of that is going to be really, really slick. So next couple of days, you really need to watch on the roads. 24 degrees right now, wind chill of about 11. We're going to see southeasterly winds anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour as we head on into the day today. But we're looking at mid to upper 20s right now. Really gusty winds, and that is only going to get worse as that system pushes in Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. It feels pretty chilly out there, but overall it is pretty mild. And we'll stay in the mid 30s, and then we'll drop those temperatures as we head on into our Monday. So as I mentioned, Sunday and Monday, very, very slick. 
System will start in the overnight tonight, but for now, just take a breather and know that it's going to be some cabins in summertime weather, but we are in the heart of winter marina. But but it's a nice light at the end of the tunnel, Tom, to remember that there there is an end in sight, but we have to be so careful as we move on into our Sunday and Monday. This is the quiet before the storm right now. We picked up on a little tiny bit of a light mix, light flurry just to the north of the metro and heading on into our northern Wisconsin counties right now, but otherwise it's just mostly cloudy and that's where we'll stay. Mostly cloudy and breezy with the mid 30s for the bulk of the day today. It's not until late tonight as we head on into the overnight and tomorrow morning that round one of this uh, two header starts to move in as we head on into our Sunday and Monday. Currently right now it's 24 degrees. We do have southeasterly winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. That'll last through the day, so we will have a wind chill. Even though we're moving on up to the mid 30s, it'll probably feel like the upper teens, low 20s because of that wind chill, but still overall pretty mild. Let's put our future cast in motion so we can take a look at what is moving on in. As we head on into, of course, the bulk of the day today, we're going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies. Then we've got a little bit of that light mix. Mix continues with rain as well as some freezing rain and sleet. Then on the back side of that system, we round out with snow. So it just depends on how much of that accumulation and how much of that snow moves in and when it moves in as to how much we're going to see. But right now, of course, as I mentioned, that northern tier from really Montevideo, even Marshall heading all the way up into just north of St. Cloud, Alec, Brainerd over into Duluth, and then of course the entire northwest 10 inches or more. And then four to eight inches for the metro. And then as we head on down into the southeast, very limited amount, one to two. You folks will be uh, the least impacted because it'll be mo mostly a rain event for you. So we have watches and warnings that I broke down for you about eight minutes ago. I'll break them down again as I head on into uh, the top of the show here in about nine minutes again. But basically, Hands down, Sunday and Monday are going to be messy all across the region with that ice on top of that snow and then really heavy snow as we head just to the north and to the west. And so we want to be very, very careful no matter what we are doing. If you don't have to head out on Sunday, stay inside. But Monday morning, a lot of us are going to have to head to work. And that's where we're going to probably see the slickest of conditions because of that ice with the snow on top of the ice. Getting a little quieter as we head on into the week. Valentine's Day right now, I know I've gotten a lot of Facebook messages from folks wanting to get ahead up some light snow and we're looking at temperatures in the upper teens. We'll be right back in a moment, folks, and I'll break. Well, we are looking at a very busy Sunday and Monday weather wise, folks, but today it's not going to be that. But for now, the Fox 9 morning news continues right now, so stay with us. That's she always does. a good thing to do. You listen to the meteorologist, you come yes. prepared. Yes. There we go. All right. Well, thanks, Lauren, so much for coming in. We are looking at, yes, a big whole mess moving on in for Sunday and Monday, but not today. At least it's the nice quiet before the storm. We're going to need it because we do have lots moving on in. So we have that winter storm watch in effect for those counties highlighted in white. Of course, it includes the metro. We're looking at anywhere from four to eight inches for this region. Now, the reason that it is a little expansive with that four inch range is because if we do pick up on a couple of inches, even an inch of snow in the overnight tonight into tomorrow morning before we turn into that icy rain, freezing rain mix, then we'll get closer to that eight inch mark. But if we just start out as a mix and we don't get that real snow accumulation until Sunday into Monday will be closer to that four inch. So just to give you a heads up on what we're looking at, at least here in the metro. Then we do have that winter storm warning just to our north and our west. And then, of course, we have that accumulation at 10 inches or more. And that's really in a line from Marshall heading to Alec Brainerd and up to Bemidji and that northwestern quadrant. So as we move on into Sunday and Monday, things are going to get slick and we're just going to have to make sure that we are prepared for that. 24 degrees currently in the metro region. Everyone is pretty much in the mid to upper 20s. We are going to warm up to about a high of 35 today, and that's what's going to get tricky is that we're going to be right there at that freezing just above freezing mark, and so it's going to be really, really marginal errors as to who sees what as we move on into tomorrow. So just to our north and west, we could be looking at 10 to 15 inches of snow, whereas four to eight inches a little closer to that metro mark, and then maybe just one to two as we head on into that Rochester lacrosse area. Winds right now are anywhere from 10 to 20, maybe even 25 miles per hour. That'll be all day today. So 10 to 20 mile per hour winds will give us a wind chill, and it'll feel like anywhere from pretty much uh, 
upper to mid teens as we head on into the morning hours and then a little warmer throughout the rest of the day. So 35 as we head on into the day today, that late overnight mix. I know I've gotten a lot of Facebook messages is when is going to start? Well, it could be late evening, but I'm really looking at more like a post midnight start and then that mix lasting into Sunday morning. So we could pick up on maybe a quarter of an inch of freezing rain, some ice and then a little bit of light snow on top of that. And then we'll be mixing all throughout the day off and on before we get into all snow by Sunday night into Monday morning. And that's when we're going to pick up on the greatest amount of that heavy, wet, sloppy accumulation into Monday morning. So as we head on into our Monday morning commute, you're going to want to leave yourself a lot of time into uh, that uh, slick drive that will stroll in. So it's about a 48 hour system. When we get rid of it, we'll get a breather by Tuesday. That's so right. We have got a big mess of a system strolling in on Sunday and Monday. It's hard because I've had a lot of people Facebook me this morning and say, well, how does it compare to the big northeast storm right now? It doesn't. I mean, the northeast storm, they're talking two feet of snow. And uh, what we're talking about, though, is something that is treacherous on the roads because of a freezing rain, icy mix, and then the snow. So they've seen just snow out in the northeast, a whole lot of it. We're not going to see that much, but we are going to see an icy mix that is going to make the roads very slippery with then snow impacting on top of that. So that's what we're most concerned about is that the roads are going to get very treacherous. As we look at our clouds and radar here over the past 12 hours, clouds moved in, so we will be mostly cloudy today. We saw a little bit of a, a, a flight flurry or a light mix move just up to our north a bit ago, but uh, that's not going to be the system. We are waiting for round one coming in the overnight tonight and then round two moving in by Sunday evening into Monday. 24 degrees right now in the metro, 26 in St. Cloud, 25 in Alec and Brainerd. And we're going to get a blast of everything as we move on into the next 48 hours. So a quiet Saturday, which is good. We need it. Overnight mix starts, then rain, freezing rain, snow, ice into Monday. Slick roads. It's going to be a very heavy, wet snow and then as we move on into our Monday afternoon, we'll start to see things clear out, but snow blower weather for sure. I feel sorry for anyone who's going to have to shovel this stuff because it's going to be seriously heavy 35 degrees as we move on into today. Clouds are thickening that evening overnight mix is going to start to roll on in and then we're going to start to see of course tonight that winter storm watch our warnings begin and then as we move on into our overnight that mix will start. We might pick up on a light accumulation into Sunday morning and in the metro that is where we're going to get a heavier accumulation if we pick up on the accumulation tomorrow and then we'll start to see of course things mix with rain and freezing rain and ice and then by Sunday evening probably looking at a 6 7 p.m. time frame right now to start with that snow lasting all the way into Monday midday and that's where we'll pick up on the bulk of our accumulation uh, but that's going to be on top of that ice and that's what I'm most worried about very windy too, gusts of up to 30 40 miles per hour especially in our western counties but the metro will get hit with 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts which is going to of course lead to blowing drifting snow Monday morning morning is going to be really tough folks before we get a breather as we head on into the rest of the week and I'll give you the rundown on those watches and warnings right here at the end of the show in a few minutes but here to help keep us all healthy and fit it begins tomorrow morning at seven but one more time or more but what my biggest concern is of course the ice coming first and then the snow on top of that, that so Monday, Monday morning Monday, messy messy all right we'll see you back here tomorrow morning at seven thanks for joining us